Hello everyone, Trevorius here, and I just want to get right into this video. Something needs to be done about kids being able to gamble using CSGO skins. This shit is fucked up. I mean, the first big problem is you have these people, these streamers, who are A, adults, so they should understand the value of money and be able to make adequate decisions about their betting actions. B, they get donations to gamble, so it's more or less their job to gamble this money in the form of skins. And C, they're role models. I mean, thousands of people watch these streamers who gamble, and some of those people are bound to be kids. And if you try to come and tell me, oh, but my demographic analytics say my biggest viewer group is 18 to 24 year olds, I'm gonna call bullshit on that excuse, because first of all, that still means that some minors watch your gambling, and second, how many of us here have lied on an online site saying we were 18 when we were younger just in case some of the features were age restricted? I mean, come on, you're really gonna tell me that you never watched porn until you were 18 because you refused to check the little box that said you were 18? Give me a break. And my parents watch my videos. This is gonna provide some wonderful conversation when I go home next. Now why is this such an issue? Come on, Trevor, you shouldn't be able to tell these streamers how to live their lives. If people didn't find this stuff entertaining, they wouldn't watch it. And since these streamers have viewers, it's obvious people find it entertaining. Which, I mean, I guess that's true. Somehow people find watching other people gamble entertaining, which again, relates back to the fact that some of these viewers have to be kids. The idea of gambling is novel to them, it has that bad boy feel to it, and even if the majority of a streamer's viewers aren't kids, it's still kind of fucked up that they can be introduced to gambling in such a distorted way that these streamers present it. I mean, considering it's their job to gamble, they put down huge amounts of money and they can really play with people's emotions. Children's brains aren't fully developed, and if they're teenagers, they're probably also having some hormone issues on top of a not fully developed brain, which is gonna cause them to be emotional, and I'm not trying to paint all teenagers with one brush. I'm not trying to say that all teenagers are emotional wrecks because that would be dumb to assume that. But the fact is, humans will be more emotional during their teenage years due to hormones. That's just, that's just science. Now this is a big problem when you look at gambling because gambling plays with your emotions. I mean, if humans weren't emotional, they wouldn't gamble because if you're gambling against the house, the odds are against you every single time. That's how casinos make money. But people still gamble because of their emotions. Man, I just won 10 to 1 odds. If only I would have bet $1,000 instead of 10. I'd have $10,000 right now. Okay, time to up my bet. Or, well, I lost this money, so I have to win it back. Shouldn't be too hard. Or, man, I've had some bad luck for a while. Oh well, that means I'm definitely due for some good luck. Let's go! None of that shit is true, but the problem is gambling will distort your feelings and make you believe that some of these things are true, and you can make some pretty shitty decisions. Now, I actually have a really good example of a younger person making some pretty shitty gambling decisions, and I'm not going to use any identifiers here except to tell you that the people in this story are siblings, because this is real and I don't want to identify these people. Now, I knew an individual through a friend of mine, and this person had a younger sibling, and this sibling got into CSGO betting. Now, they were very fond of betting on professional games. Well, this sibling actually gambled their way from a small inventory, and I'm really not sure the exact number of their original inventory, into a knife. But that wasn't enough for the sibling. They were feeling pretty lucky, and they had to bet it all. So they bet this knife on one game, and they lost it. So now they had zero inventory, nothing. It was all gone in just a second. But the story doesn't stop there. What does a kid with no inventory and a gambling addiction do? Well, the only logical course of action is to steal their sibling's skins. This sibling went into the friend of a friend's account, transferred all those skins to their account, and lost those gambling as well. So now neither sibling had any inventory. All of it was gone. Now maybe this person had good intentions. Maybe they were just trying to win back their original inventory value and then return the skins to their sibling. But that doesn't change the fact that this kid was easily able to gamble items with real value. Courts have already ruled that CSGO skins have a monetary value. You can pay taxes on larger gambling winnings and technically you can't gamble skins unless you're 18. And this is why I can't place all the blame on the streamers. I mean, they are of a legal age to gamble. They're just using gambling as a means to entertain their audience besides their personality. And I just want to come out and say right now that I have no problem with people of a legal age gambling online or even having gambling streams as long as they're not advertised as playing an actual game like CSGO that they're obviously not playing because they're gambling. Now, saying that gambling streamers should get banned from Twitch is like saying that you can treat the flu with a cough drop. I mean, yeah, it might treat your coughing symptom, but you still have the flu. CSGO gambling streamers are just a symptom of the actual disease, which is these gambling sites. So what is the flu shot, so to speak? 
Well, I think there's only one solution. Gambling sites will have to get more strict with allowing people to use their sites. These sites need to have identity verification and not just checking a box that says, I'm 18. I mean, actually verifying the identity by requiring one, possibly two forms of ID to ensure to the best of their ability that their users are old enough to legally gamble. Oh, but that's such a huge inconvenience for these companies. It would be so hard. Yeah, that's the fucking point. If it was easy like it is right now, then we're going to have a bunch of kids running around with gambling addictions. And I don't care about your beliefs on anything else. You have to admit, that's a little fucked up. Now, I was lucky enough to be taught about gambling when I was a kid. Before I was 10, I knew how to play Texas Hold'em, Blackjack, Omaha, and quite a few dice games. But when I learned how to play those games, I was informed by whichever family member taught me the game that gambling is not for kids and that I should never gamble with actual money. And I think that was a great way to introduce me to gambling without glamorizing it or making it possible to bet and lose actual money. But that awesome lesson that I learned isn't available to everybody. And don't even try to pull the parents should make sure their kids aren't gambling online. This isn't anybody's fault except for the parents. Because first of all, even if a parent tries their best to teach their kid about responsible gambling, that kid might just, surprise, surprise, not listen to them. That's what kids do. And in addition to this, even if the kids have good intentions, they might still try to gamble online just to see what it's like because it's so easily accessible, especially due to the fact that you don't even need a credit card. You just need some CSGO skins, which you can get through a Steam gift card at your local Walmart. And would you suggest that actual casinos shouldn't have to verify ID and that if a minor slips through, it's their parents' fault the casino was not held responsible in any way? Of course not, that would be ridiculous. And in the case of online gambling, the casino can be accessed anywhere because the internet is available everywhere, making it even harder for parents to monitor. If anything, online gambling should have more restrictions than actual casinos. And I'd be willing to bet these companies don't want to willingly shut down because of something minor like, well, minors gambling. They're making money off of kids who don't know any better, and it's the most fucked up get-rich-quick scheme I've seen in a while. Now, I tuned into Summit's stream the other day, and I see him on this CSGO Diamond site, and the point of this gambling site is that you randomly roll a number between 1 and 100, and depending on the odds you choose, such as a roll over 50 or 5 and under, you get a certain multiplier on your money. It's kind of like roulette. Well, on this site, if you put money on a roll under 47.5, you get your money multiplied by 2. So 47.5% of the time, you win the exact amount of money you bet, and 52.5% of the time, the site wins. Over a long period of time, the site will make money. The odds decree it. They, they know they're going to make money. Shit, they're basically rubbing it in your face that their odds of winning are infinitely better than yours. So the government is going to have to take notice and regulate this shit because obviously the companies aren't. And unfortunately, that's probably going to mean something goes horribly wrong first. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a scandal about a site rigging the odds for themselves more than what they stated they were. It might be a prominent figure in the community winning a large amount of money and the site is unable to pay out, although that one's pretty unlikely. These companies probably have quite a bit of cash. Or maybe some kid of a rich parent loses a large amount gambling, the parent finds out about it, and they decide to take it to court, and we get to make some case law regarding CSGO, online gambling, and minors. Whatever happens, this shit is fucked for now. I think the best thing you can do is to not use these sites to gamble. If it's possible for minors to gamble on the site, just don't use it. But with your wallet. That's what I'm gonna do. And the sad part is, I'd like to gamble a little bit for fun. You know, bet on some matches, play some poker with my skins, you know, since I can legally do that. But until these companies get their shit together, I can't bring myself to support them. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'm hoping there will be some good dialogue in the comment section, although this is the YouTube comment section, so that might be a lofty goal. Either way, I hope I was able to get my point across, and I hope that the issue is fixed soon.